Hey, this is Sarah from Halftone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export JSONs from BodyMovin. So today we are looking at a grid animation that is on our newly renovated website. We'll start out with a few facts about JSONs that are good to know before you even export. It's got a really clean finish with drop shadows that do appear in the exported file, but the thing about JSONs is that you can't export effects in After Effects in a JSON, and so the shadows were implemented already exported with the PDFs, which you can see here. Another thing about JSONs is that the combined file size that you receive after exporting, so the exported JSON file, will be the combined size of all of the assets you have included in it. But keyframes are also added to the file size, but those only add up to like maybe 10 kilobytes, if that. So it's really important to compress your file sizes so that you can avoid file sizes like this one here, which is 676 kilobytes. That's a pretty big file size to be in a JSON. And just looking at our assets here, we can tell that this JSON will export somewhere in the megabytes. So um, when you're exporting JSONs, you don't have to worry about pre-comps. It'll export all of your pre-comps. You won't have to worry about hidden layers in your file. Those will not export unless you state that you want them exported in the final asset. So now that we have that all covered, we can head into Body Move-In. The way to import plugins and extensions into After Effects is to go to AE Scripts and Plugins. And at AE Scripts and Plugins, you can find Body Move-In and other really cool plugins like Saber or Lottie Files, but today we're going to be looking at Body Move-In. And here you can find it, the Body Move-In Lottie extension. There is the option to leave a tip or a donation of some kind. Your window extensions Body Move-In. So getting started here, this is your Body Move-In window. You can see that all of your compositions your pre-comps are listed here and you have to select the comp that you want exported and so we'll select Calgrid because that is the comp that I had open at the very start. That's the one that I want. And then I'll go into settings and see this will allow your hidden layers to also be exported but we're going to leave that unchecked. But we are going to go into assets because we want all of our images that we imported into the project to also export with our JSON. And so we're going to include in JSON, and I'm going to enable compression for 90. And there are some more um, settings that you can look through, but these are just the basics for exporting a, like an average JSON. I'm going to hide that and hit save. But that doesn't save, that doesn't export the JSON. What you want, you're going to want to do is click into the meatball menu and select the location that you want it exported to. And then we'll just hit render. And it'll go through and export each of the individual assets that you have in your JSON. Perfect. We'll hit done. Now to view the JSONs to make sure that it turned out okay. We're going to open up the Lottie Files website, which is lottiefiles.com, and also bring up our file. And so we click and drag the JSON into your browser and let it take its time. And it'll take a bit for this one to load because it is 7 megabytes. Thanks for watching. That's all I've got for you folks. And I hope you have fun with body moving, exporting JSONs, and giving this video a like and subscribe. Alright, thanks.